My name is Kay Kiffin. I'm a PhD student in the Department of Psychology, and my area I'm specializing in is eyewitness memory. A significant part of this research, I feel, is just we can't identify features. Features on their own are not diagnostic of identity. We can't say that those eyes are definitely belonging to a particular person. There have been many cases where police have constructed lineups of members with balaclavas on because the witness may have only seen the eyes of the perpetrator. He was wearing a balaclava and they think, I can definitely remember those eyes, I'll remember those eyes anyway. And this research shows that you can't do it above levels of chance. So if you're required to try to identify someone from a feature alone, I just want to maybe cast some doubt and suspicion on this, this notion that eyewitness memory is a gold standard, that memory is concrete and doesn't change, because it does. My name is James Mutuku. I'm a first year PhD student, and my topic is uh, crowd voicing for citizen empowerment. The biggest impact on my research in crowd voicing is citizen empowerment, completing the feedback loop where citizens' voices are heard, and also to act as an intervention mechanism. My name is Marika Martin, and my research focus is on endangered Cameroonian languages, especially the languages Wawa and Ndoro. The most significant part of my research is that it provides other people with a lot of data to work to work from. So it, it gives anthropologists and biologists and linguists, historical linguists, comparative linguists, data that they can use to classify languages, to classify the Mameloid language family, which um, the classification still isn't set, its relationship within Niger-Congo and um, to Bantu, for example. I'm John Woodland, I'm part of the Department of Chemistry and I'm particularly interested in the chemical biology of the malaria parasite. The biggest impact from this work could be to uh, streamline it and then to apply it to a bunch of other pathologies as well. So to be able to sort of generalise this process of attaching a fluorescent um, dye, evaluating that molecule and then following it within pathogens um, as a quick screening process for drugs for other diseases and pathologies. Uh, my name's Katrine Klaassens and I'm with the African Climate and Development Initiative. My work is about how climate change is visually communicated. So what kind of pictures, videos, adverts are used to tell the climate change, uh, the story of climate change visually. Issues of climate change have proved to be very, um, have a huge impact on people and I think they can be used better. My name is Michelle Carson and I'm a master's student at the Division of Medical Microbiology. The biggest impact of this research, I think, would be for us to know what the meconium profiles look like to see if we can perhaps change um, the in utero life, um, change factors affecting the, the um, infant in utero, and maybe um, start by using, for example, probiotics um, in utero already so that we can advance the life of an infant throughout time. My name is Moritz Boyer, I'm, going, I'm a chemical engineer, and I'm going to talk to you through my poster about um, preservation of reduced transition metal catalysts. The most important part of my poster, of my research, is that the carbon dioxide preservation of transition metal catalysts does not work, though it, is, or it was quite widely applied in the literature.